Hey everyone, so I'm gonna basically do a video for you guys on how to find a BlackBerry software for your phone. I've been got, getting like about a, a couple hundred questions every day. Hey, how do I find this OS for my 8520, 9300 for any, any single BlackBerry phone? So I'm gonna show you a really simple step that I keep email, emailing to everyone and Hopefully this video will help you guys find out how to find your OS the correct way and not worry about it. So, first off, you're going to go to BlackBerry.com. Secondly, you're going to click on some stuff. You're going to find everything right there. And I'm going to show you and walk through, through all the steps today. So, let's go. BlackBerry.com. So, you're going to wait for this page to load, basically. Um, I don't have the fastest computer, but I have the fastest internet that in Canada they could offer so hopefully we could get this done really fast and really snappy okay so this is basically blackberry.com wherever region you go it's gonna automatically redirect you to your region so if you're in uh, the US you're gonna see blackberry.com that's it if you're in France you're probably see you're probably gonna see FR right here where the CA is if you're in the UK you're gonna see uk.blackberry.com Okay, doesn't matter, just go to this website, it works on anywhere in the world, anywhere. Okay, so you're going to go, highlight above software, you're not clicking on it, then you're going to click software, well, smartphone software. When you click on smartphone software, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to click, you're going to look for the one with the BlackBerry phones, not the playbook, okay? You're going to look for the phones. Each phone is able to go up to a maximum capacity and update meaning each phone has a specific amount of RAM that could actually run the OS you can't expect to load a uh, BlackBerry 7.1 on a BlackBerry 99 on a BlackBerry 9000 or a BlackBerry 9700 because it doesn't have the space okay so you're gonna click on update today you're gonna wait for a couple seconds you're gonna see this screen pop up maybe you won't see it you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom you're gonna see if you receive the message that no updates were available after clicking the software so you're scrolling down look for all this fancy words right here you're gonna click on find the software download site for your carrier you're gonna click on it it's gonna load you gotta wait a couple seconds for it guys don't rush it you're gonna find it this is the easiest way so now Depending on what region you are from, so if you're in the U.S., you're going to see U.S. right here. If you're in the U.K., you're going to see U.K. Where, where you see Canada. If you're in France, if you're in Germany, if you're in Switzerland, if you're in Africa, if you're in India, if you're in China, wherever you are, it's going to automatically be redirected for you, okay? So this is for Canada. So whoever your, your cell phone provider is, so if you're from Indonesia and your cell phone provider is KWS, I'm just making this up. This is just an example. You're going to see KWS and you click on it. So for me, my carrier is Rogers Wireless Incorporated, right? So I'm going to click on Rogers and you're going to see the screen pop up. You, I can't send you this code because every country has their specific website and specific server for their phones. Okay, guys? So then you're going to click right here. You're going to scroll down the big fancy list of all the smartphones that they have, all the lists that they have. So, and look for your smartphone, whatever the number is, right? Like you're going to see, look right here, 8520, 8320, 9900, 9700, 9000, 9700, 9780, 9790. You know, all the phones are right here. So right now, I'm using the BlackBerry Bowl 9700. So I hit BlackBerry 9700 and click Next. So now you're going to see... Why is this popping up right now? Okay. So now you're going to see, basically, all the software there is that's actually released for your phone. All the correct software. So this at the bottom of the page would be your base software. Base software. Five, 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 five. You keep seeing five. Okay, that's all your base software. If you want to go to OS 6, you'll see version 6. You'll see version 6 right here. And if you look at the size, guys, 157 megabytes for OS 6, 
134 for OS5 or 129 for OS5, depending, right? That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. You can't upload OS7 on a, on an older phone. So you're going to click right here to download. You're going to download this link. They're going to ask you to fill out this form. This is just to let them know that you're downloading their software, okay? So you put in your first name, your last name, your job title. If you don't have a job title, just put in student, okay? Uh, put in a company, just put in a home or something, right? For put in your address, put in your city, put in your country, put in everything, just full out the information. Just would you like to receive information about BlackBerry products? Hit no. Sign up for BlackBerry Connection newsletter? No. You don't want to receive emails for no apparent reason. And don't forget to click this one right here. I confirm that the set out above, the set out above is accurate. That's if you don't click this, you won't be able to download it. So yes, no, no, next. The OS is automatically going to pop up in a download video for you guys on another downloads page or whatever you guys have. And you're going to download that software and then you're going to go back to my video on how to update your BlackBerry smartphone. When you do that, you'll find out everything. If you guys have any questions, ask me in the comments below. Or rewatch the video. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to share the video. Okay, guys? I put out these videos not just to only help you, but to help everyone. So I don't receive a billion emails every day. I'm not saying I have problems with it. I'm just saying that, you guys, this is how we're going to do it now on. I'm going to show you guys a lot more tricks coming up soon, okay? Good luck.